Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys the Wix Pro Gallery, which is a new feature of Wix that they have added to supplement their uh, existing gallery options, which were always good, but um, they weren't actually as good as this one. This one actually we can control the quality, we can control a lot more about the layout, the sizes, the fonts, the rollovers, and so forth. There's even share options, um, like options, and some other things that I'm going to show you. So when you first want to add a Wix Pro Gallery to your page, what you're going to do is you're going to first click on your plus icon, then click on Gallery, and um, make sure to scroll down, because they have this down at the bottom of the list currently. Um, so if you scroll down, you'll get to Wix Pro Gallery. I've already added a Wix Pro Gallery to my page. I'm going to just quickly delete that and so we can start fresh. So I'm going to do this one more time. I'm clicking on Add, Gallery. I scroll down to see Wix Pro Gallery and I'm going to add this to the site. Now I can close this window and here I have my new gallery. Wix automatically populates it with existing photos and example videos and even an example text box so you have a place to start with. Um, the first step you probably want to do is, uh, well, there's two options, really. You can go to Manage Media, which you can change out these images and put in your own. You can also go to Settings, so you can decide what kind of layout you want to have. Let's go to Settings first so we can see the different layout options, so we know how many photos we want to add to our new gallery. If I click here, this is on Layout, this is where you're going to find all your different layout options. Um, so you can play around with these and see what ones you like best. Um, keep in mind how many photos you have to work with and, you know, if you want it to be square, you have to kind of think, well, I need to have a, an even number of uh, images so that the grid doesn't have a blank space, um, although you can always add one more image, or change the uh, columns and rows to adjust it to work for really any even numbered amount of images. Uh, you can also use all these other things. Um, column's a nice one. This is, works as a strip, so it can uh, span the full width of the thing, and they would scan. They would. You can scroll down to see all the photos, which is kind of a nice, um, easy way to add a nice long page with all your work. Um, with this format and any of the formats, you can always stretch them to the full width of the screen by clicking on this little uh, double arrow icon. When you click stretch to full width, this is going to go to the full width and then allow you to uh, have those photos fill the screen, which is a nice feature as well. Um, I'm going to go back to one of these other uh, layouts just to kind of show us again how it works with the different stretching um, versions. So you can see now it's stretching to fill this full screen. Other options you have are the hover options. You can show a title when people ho hover, so you can set up your titles, which I'll show you in just a bit. You can also have a download feature, so people will be able to download the original photos, um, which may be really nice if you're trying to share these photos with friends or clients. Um, there's also social sharing, which allowed them to share it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So there's, uh, and it's kind of a preset little system. You can turn all these on and off, you can also scroll down with the heart icon. There's a little heart icon that when people click, like on Instagram or Pinterest, um, they like the, the picture and it can even count them and show that 20 people have liked a certain photo. You also have control over the text alignment that shows up in the, over the hover as well as the color overlay. Um, so you can play around with all these settings and your uh, fonts as well which is also great because some of the previous Wix uh, galleries did not have the ability to fully control your fonts and your size and etc. Um, and now you have all those features here in this pro gallery. Um, the next thing is uh, to show on expand. So if you want somebody to click on the picture, you can actually have it do different things where it um, will expand for them or it can download and so forth. So you can control all these things as well, which is really great. Um, there's also here, this is the image quality. A lot of people have had problems with Wix really kind of over uh, compressing your images and so they always look a little blurry or just not quite perfect as they were when you uploaded them. This is where you can control that and um, really have 
full control, so you can have 100% quality if you want, so it doesn't compress them at all. Note, this will you know, affect your page load time, so if you have hundreds of photos or even 20 photos, and if they're large, it can be a much bigger uh, download hog. So just keep that in mind. Um, you have control over that. But, you know, they always recommend here to keep it to 90, which is almost 100%, but um, a little bit compressed so that it downloads and, and loads uh, for your page quickly. The next option is the Manage Media. So this is where I can go in. You can change all your pictures. You can add new pictures. You can reorder pictures. So, for example, I can click and hold, drag it over, and then I can change the order of this gallery. I can also add my own gallery, or my own images, I should say. You click on image, and you can choose um, images from the gallery that you've already, or all the galleries that you've ever uploaded. All these images are going to be here. You can also add your own uh, images by clicking on upload it. images. So um, that's a great feature, of course. You can add all your new pictures. You can reorder things. And now there's also this new text box, which didn't exist before. You can click on this, and you can customize this text in this box um, in this editor. So uh, it's a pretty cool feature that uh, kind of allows you to add some graphic design to your galleries without um, having to you know, build a, a custom image and upload it and so forth. You can actually create some text and so forth here. Um, you even have control, of course, over your fonts and all that, just as you do with any other part in Wix, which is wonderful. I'm going to update this. I'm going to say I'm done. And here we are. Here's my new gallery that I've moved things around. Remember, you can always click on Preview to see how things work. So you can kind of get an idea of what it's looking like on the fly. So I'm going to go back here. Let's say I want to add a title to one of these images for the rollover. So I click on the image in this area and I click on title and here is my title. I'm going to, you can also add a link and a description so if you want to link the picture to a, uh, another page or an outside website you can do that. Click on done. Again I can hit preview and then now I can see how my title is showing up upon that rollover. And also remember I can control the fonts and everything in that. So this is the new Pro Gallery, so much better than all their other galleries because you have 100% full control over everything in the gallery, whereas before we were a little more limited to what their templates offered, um, which was always a frustration. But I'm so happy to see they have this new Wix Pro Gallery, and I hope that you enjoy it. Remember, it's under the Add feature, under Galleries, scroll down to find Wix Pro Gallery.